Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Yeah, damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. So how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. I'm hoping you're having a great day today and everything you try to accomplish this year it becomes into reality. Welcome back. So I would like to do this video for my own memories because I want to show you guys what my 1964 Impala looks like and this is what I have. We're going to actually do a review on the car. And I want to show it to you guys because I want you guys to see it and I want to show you all the work that it, that it needs to be done the car was at my friend's house and he helped me tow it over here and uh, it is in really rough shape I mean you know when you get a project like this you know you know you can't expect any anything but um this is what I have. Um, I also, I also, I also want to do the video because uh, when this car gets finished, I want to remember what it looked like, and if I ever decided to sell it, I want to show the buyer what the car used to look like. Um, all right, so here we go. On the last previous video, we changed the door. This is the door from a uh, Super Sport, so. Some holes gonna have to get covered and redrill the new holes for the for the new molding. Uh, I took the trunk out because I thought my friend had a better trunk than the one I have, and basically this this one, the one I have, is better than the one that he was trying to give me. I went all the way to his house. He lives about 45 minutes away. Would I get mad? No, I didn't get mad because I understand he's trying to help me out. So that's good of him. But there's a huge stand right here. Can you guys see it? Right there. Um, the car has a history of what happened to it. And I'm going to tell you guys as we uh, go through it. So what happened to the car was the guy that I bought it from gave it to this other guy to uh, work on it. Uh, the guy worked on it and he sanded basically all the paint down all the way to bare metal and he didn't bother to primer the car I don't know why I don't know what happened and I don't know the motive of why he didn't primer the car so he told my friend that he was gonna have the car ready with uh, primer and the body work done and that was not the case this guy basically just the guy that I bought it from told me uh, that he gave it to him and everything was complete like the seats everything was there and the guy just took everything apart uh, they didn't really do a good job as you guys can see he just sanded it down to metal and uh the guy disappeared. Uh, then my friend, the guy that I bought it from, I'm gonna call him my friend. My friend that I bought it from, he couldn't uh, get a hold of him, and uh, the guy uh, nowhere to be found. Uh, two months later, he came and got the car from him, and then he found out that the guy went to jail. So the guy went to jail, and uh, this is how he left the car. I have the fenders, the hood, and the glass, everything else I have it. Um, just showing you what I got from him. So, the guy went to jail and this is the product that he left. And this car was not hit from here, that's what he told me, that he just, somebody hit it, or I don't know what happened, to be honest with you. But, the car was abandoned for about six, seven months, left in the rain. 
nobody really cared about the car. And uh, I've been looking for a convertible Impala for a long, long time. And finally, I was able to find one. And I bought it from him. So the guy that he gave it to him neglected the car, didn't take care of it. As you guys can see, he sanded it all the way down. He started the, the body work, but who knows what kind of body work he was doing because there are some damages. There's like three dents in total in the car that needs to be addressed. And uh, I have to, I already talked to my body man. We are gonna get to it. But the first thing I gotta do is take it to the sandblasting place and have them sandblast it. Uh, they're gonna sandblast the whole car and then we're gonna be able to see what metal could stay and what metal has to be cut but I'm, I'm looking at the car it's pretty solid besides the trunk panel and the uh, floor floor pans as you guys can see rust check look as you can see through it look over there too there's a big hole in there um, cars in the down south are commonly known to rust out especially this type of vehicles Chevy they're they're known to get rusted so it's not a surprise thing for me and uh, check this out this seat my friend gave it to me I'm gonna send it to get redone both of the seats the door panel I got the door panels and everything they both gonna get done look Look at the floor. Look at the floor. I'm gonna put new floors. I'm not surprised, you know, I knew what I was getting myself into. But overall, the car is in great shape. Like the, the structure, the the um, the frame, everything is in good shape. That's the reason why I bought this car. I've been seeing a lot of Impalas that this portion right here is all rusted. Like when you touch it like this, the whole part right there, all the way around, is rusted, and it's not—it's not good to fix all of this. If you look at the quarter panel, the pretty solid to me. So this is the one that I found that that it was in better shape than any Impala I seen that it was convertible. So back to the story behind this car. So this car was abandoned for about almost a whole year. And uh, it was just, I feel bad. Like, I try to save as many scars as I can, but I'm not Superman. I don't have the manpower to do it. And if I did, I would go ahead and hire as many people as I can and just go look for cars like this and restore them. But I'm just one person that, you know, trying to do everything. Um, so, like I said, it's going to be a slow process. I'm thinking about putting an LS1 or LS2 engine. I'm not sure yet. Um, thinking about it. And then also, I'm like, uh, I'm deciding what color I'm going to paint it yet. I already know what color, but I'm still debating whether I should do it that color or not. But this is what the car looks like. This is a total review of the car. Uh, me and my friend we started doing some sandblasting but his compressor was not strong enough to to you know to take care of all the all the uh, rust out so this is when you do sandblasting this is what the metal looks like check it out see how clean it is that's how I know that the car has good structure so um, this is basically where I'm at right now and uh, the rack too, I'm gonna need to get a, a new convertible rack for the car. The, the rack, it looks like, I don't know, like, uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can sandblast the rack to see if it's...
residential seat to be. God, tell me, can you handle that? I came from nothing, not a whole thing changed. Pockets swelling out with hundreds VIP when we are green. 